presentation is brought to you by the Beljanski Foundation. Over 50 years of research towards curing cancer the natural way. Okay, broccoli's been around for many years, over 2,000. We looked at it through our friends in Washington, D.C. as far as how it's used. A lot of the medicinal part of broccoli was, was done by uh, Chinese many, many years ago, and they have different things. Um, the company that I represent is CS Health. It's actually called Caudel Seed Health. That company is about 100 years old, and that company basically is the largest uh, organic seed company in the United States. We were approached by our friends from Johns Hopkins Hospital University. The hospital basically said uh, we're having trouble with our, uh, our uh, cancer uh, studies. Uh, they, they don't repeat, they don't do anything. Can you do anything about that? So we said, being the seed people that we were, we decided to go ahead and check. So we checked the broccoli seed uh, and we found out that there's 130 plus species of broccoli throughout the world. What we did find out was what they were particularly looking for, a very particular phytochemical called sephoraphane uh, uh, glucosinolate, was only evident in six of them. So once we found out which one had the most of this uh, particular uh, uh, chemical sephoraphane glucosinolate, um, we basically uh, told them about it. They thanked us very much. They started working on their, on their experiments and everything started to be able to be repeatable and they basically did some good things. Now our company, being the folks who are thinking out of the box a little bit, going, well this is pretty dang interesting because they were running cancer experiments, uh, cancer prevention experiments, and so we decided to take a look at these, these seeds or the plant itself and more. What we found was we basically uh, went into this uh, glucoraphanin and found out that the seed was indeed the most powerful. It was 50 times stronger than sprouts. I don't know if any people like sprouts in their food, but if you grow the sprouts, three-day-old sprouts is what you get. But it's 50 times stronger than a sprout. The the, the uh, broccoli plant itself is only 20 times as is uh, 20 times less than the the uh, broccoli seed, uh, excuse me, the broccoli uh, sprout. So we decided why go with the broccoli sprouts and or the plant, let's work with the broccoli seeds. And so that's what we started looking for. A glossary is we have glucoraphanin and that's what uh, what's we're looking for in the broccoli. It's present in the crucifers, not only in broccoli, but there are other crucifers, uh, kale, uh, cauliflower and spinach and a bunch of others, but not to the extent that broccoli has. Okay, so uh, when, the, when the body converts it, the body actually converts it to sephoraphane. Um, <clears throat> when we have our capsules and we have people take our capsules, we are not giving you sephoraphane. We are giving you sephoraphane glucosinolate, and your body actually does the transformation of the molecule into a sephoraphane liquid, and uh, what's left is a, a small sugar uh, in your stomach. Um, then there's the sephoraphane that's produced by the body uh, or the immune system. For the immune system, it acts as an antioxidant and is an antibiotic, and it inhibits tumors. It also does things like detoxes the body, detoxes the liver, repairs your leaky gut syndrome, repairs your blood-brain barrier uh, leakage. It uh, works with your mitochondria uh, and actually uh, re reconstitutes your mitochondria so it works with your immune system. It's, uh, it also works with your phase one and phase two enzymes. Phase one enzyme usually in your body stays pretty strong and uh, phase one enzyme is, is the body's natural chelator that goes in and gets the poisons out of your body and grabs a hold of it. Now what happens is as we get older, phase two and, uh, enzymes actually becomes less and less and less. So when we get all the phase one capturing all this stuff, there's no place for it to go because it's not water soluble. So uh, we, what sephoraphane does working with your DNA is it uh, actually 
uh, brings your, your phase two uh, enzymes back up to where it belongs. And now you're able to kick the stuff out of your body because phase two makes this material water soluble and it goes right out through your kidneys. Okay, and then of course chemo protection, that's basically our defenses that provides our, our immune system. And our immune system basically, most of our immune system, believe it or not, is the stomach. It is the stomach. And so if your stomach is in turmoil or having problems with it, your immune system is suffering from it at the same time. Uh, another thing that sephorophane does to the body is if it, uh, if it comes, uh, if it uh, is, uh, if it's transformed in your stomach uh, by use of the uh, microflora gut, the, then what happens if you have something called H. pylori bacteria, H. pylori bacteria is what causes things like um, a leaky gut syndrome or it causes you to be very, very sick. Uh, Sephorophane will kill that H. pylori bacteria in five weeks. It is the only thing known right now that will take care of H. pylori. Now, we in the United States are basically in pretty good shape as far as H. pylori, but as we have more and more and more people coming into the, the country, uh, what happens is, is we're getting more of a mix of folks with H. pylori bacteria. So then they need that. Now the test for H. pylori bacteria is you cover your mouth with your hand and you smell it, it smells like ammonia. If your breath smells like ammonia, you better start figuring out a way to take care of that H. pylori bacteria. Okay. Um, this talks about recent shifts in rural practices. Uh, Basically, the frequency of uh, meals has caused a lot of our problems in our stomach. Uh, the type of materials, uh, the lectins, uh, all that material. Uh, our bread, our bread is not good. If you go to Europe, our, the bread there is fantastic. There's a big reason for that, and the reason for that is our fellow folks in the uh, in the uh, food business do not take the hulls out, the hulls of any. Wheat, rice, all those is the problem. Uh, if you take the hulls out, then you won't have a whole lot of problems that we do in the United States. In Europe, they take those hulls out, and their breads and all that is much, much better for you there. I love going to Germany because their breads are just great. You can eat all you want, and I love bread. <clears throat> okay, so what's it do with, ca with cancer? And now I said we don't give you a cancer killer. We don't. The FDA would get very excited with our company if we said we had our, our capsules are cancer killers and we kill cancer. We don't do that. What happens is, is when your body changes the sephorophane glucosinolate into a liquid, um, liquid uh, sephorophane, what happens is the liquid sephorophane gets into your bloodstream along with your DNA and because it's in your bloodstream, your cancer is tied into your bloodstream. That's how it gets fed. Your cancer loves sugar, by the way, just in case you don't know. If you have a real propensity for sugar, uh, you might want to check yourself out a little bit, but that's because there might be a problem there. Uh, and basically, the, the, uh, the sephorophane, liquid sephorophane, along with the DNA, doesn't recognize uh, the cancer as a part of the body. It recognizes it as a form agent. Our own DNA doesn't recognize cancer as something foreign because it's really from our own cells. But the sephorophane, which is a plant defense system as well, basically recognizes it and goes right, in, right into the mass of cancer through the blood streams and turns on something called, and you may have heard this before, apoptosis. Now we have apoptosis, all of us, every day, where we have thousands of, can or thousands of cells um, <clears throat> being born and dying is through apoptosis. Cancer doesn't die. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger, unless you have something come along, like sephorophane, that will turn a switch, and then it starts dying. It'll shrivel up and go away, and actually what you have left is like a little pockmark. Okay, why broccoli seed? As I explained that before, it's 50 times stronger. I get ahead of myself a little bit. 
And let's see. So, CS Health, basically, um, we have come out with a ca capsule. We are the first ones to do it. It's been around for 20 years. Our first capsule basically was a regular capsule where we took out the oil. You gotta have the oil out of the broccoli. Broccoli's got 30% oil in it. And you take the broccoli seed oil out because your stuff will turn rancid if you don't. Now, I don't know if you've ever smelled rancid oil, but it's pretty bad. Uh, so, and then you, what's left over has the sephorophane glucosinolate in it, and it's uh, got a five-year shelf life, minimum, minimum. Okay, so we put this in, uh, in the capsules, and once we put it in the capsule, uh, our original product, uh, the sephorophane glucosinolate, was freed uh, by, the, by the stomach uh, gut microflora. The microflora did that. Doctors didn't like that. The doctors didn't know because everybody's gut flora is different and it comes differently. So what happens is we got to thinking about it and a capsule company came out with a brand new capsule that's acidic resistant. That's good because our stomach is acidic. So we use the, the, the acidic capsule along with our powder and the myrosinase enzyme that's indigenous to uh, sephorophane. We put it in that capsule. It goes right straight through the, uh, the uh, uh, stomach, right into the small intestine. The small intestine has a uh, very, it, it's, it's quite basic. As soon as it gets in there, the, the capsule disintegrates. You get sephorophane liquid, it goes right straight into the bloodstream, and this whole system, the way it is set up now, is you'll get 94%. 94% of your theoretical sephorophane liquid is realized when you take these type of capsules. Our product is Halal, uh, kosher, grass, uh, vegan, all that stuff, it's, it's a vegetable. It's an absolute vegetable, okay? That's what it is. Can you take too many capsules out of the bottle? Absolutely not, because it's a capsule. Nothing will happen. So if we, if we advertised on TV, and you see regular commercials on TV where they're showing all the stuff that happens on the bottom, ours would be absolutely empty. There are 35 to 40,000 articles out on the internet that uh, talks about sephorophane. A lot of them start out by saying it's commonly known that sephorophane kills cancer. That's not exactly right, but that's how they start out. And we pull those articles off the internet. It covers autism, it covers heart, it covers uh, uh, if you have uh, arthritis, it does many more things. I actually call sephorophane a uh, multitasking phytochemical because it does so much things for you, okay? As I was explaining about the uh, the uh, broccoli seed versus the sprouts, that shows you, that's a graph showing that the broccoli seed is much, much stronger than the, the sprout. So there are many, many products out there on, a pro uh, on the internet, uh, not, and some of them are sold by this one company, I won't mention their name, but most of them are not what you want. I'm not going to call it junk, but it's not what you want. You're not getting your money's worth. You're just not getting it, okay? And what they do is they grind up the whole stock. Well, the whole stock is very little sephorophane that you're looking for. Now, it's broccoli. Broccoli still has all of the uh, vitamins and enzymes, and everything's still in it in the bulk. So it's still good for you because mom knows best. And that's what's on our bottle, mom knows best. And, but it's still good for you in that sense, but it doesn't have your cancer, uh, cancer thing that, that basically is, is uh, part, of the, uh, part of the system. So anyway, uh, so, so I'm just going on here because this is no brief glossary, uh, carcinogenesis. I've already covered all this stuff, so I guess I got ahead of myself a little bit. Um, but the uh, sephorophane glucosinolate basically is a very powerful, body-friendly phytochemical. And the reason why we got thinking about broccoli in the first place was 
Broccoli itself protects itself because of the sephorophane. If you have a garden and you want to protect your garden, plant broccoli all the way around it and it'll get rid of a lot of the bad bugs and everything else because they don't like it. Because when they eat into it and it creates the sephorophane, it's not a good tasting material and they stop. So that's all part of that. Okay, so there's, I guess I'm way ahead of myself here. So as far as I'm concerned, this material here, uh, it's 20 years old. We've had absolutely no negative results. The internet has nothing negative that has to do with sephorophane. Uh, there's no, absolutely nothing, nothing negative at all. Thank you.